So a brand new faith-based Christian movie has been in the theaters for the last couple of weeks called Life Mark uh, by the Kendrick Brothers. So finally got to see it last night. So let's talk about it today here on the Geek Corner. Hey there everybody, it's Rev Kev. Welcome back to my Geek Corner. So great to have you here. I want to talk today about the new movie Life Mark by the, the Kendrick Brothers. If you're not familiar with their work, they've done movies like Fireproof and Courageous and Facing the Giant, some of the really popular Christian movies that have come out over probably the last decade at least, if not 15 years or so. And um, I'm going to be admit right out of the gate, and if you've been a part of this channel for a while and have seen my other comments and reviews on Christian movies, I have, I have a love-hate relationship with uh, faith-based entertainment. Uh, some of it is done really, really well, and it seems like there is a vast improvement in that genre of entertainment over the last few years, which I love seeing that improving. But there's also a lot of cheese, and a lot of low budget, and a lot of kind of cringy acting as well. So right out of the gate, uh, first initial thoughts about uh, Life Mark. Just as a movie, okay, just just as a movie and as a story, I, I enjoyed it. Um, I thought uh, the story was, was interesting. Uh, it's a story about a young uh, teenage boy, well, young man, just turns 18 years old, uh, has grown up his whole life knowing he was adopted, and this was the journey of him meeting his biological parents. And, um, and, and so, yeah, an interesting story, a, a really good drama, it had a lot of good comedy, and honestly... Some of the acting was a little cringy. I kind of expect that for this, but a lot of the acting, when it really mattered, they they nailed it. Like um, the actress who played the birth mother, like when she finally meets her son that she had to give up for adoption. Like that scene, if that would have been cringy, the whole movie would have fallen apart. And I teared up. I cried. I bought it. I was hooked into the story, into the characters by that point. So, so a good story. Also, kind of surprising, they used some de-aging special effects. So one of the actors, Kirk Cameron, plays him, you know, the father of the 18-year-old. The um, and then they kind of have these flashback scenes to when he's uh, 18 years earlier, and they do the de-aging, and it worked. It didn't... It actually looked really good on how they de-aged the actors. Even better than some of the... CGI we're seeing on other streaming services these days. Um, so yeah, so acting was decent, story was interesting, and uh, sorry, was was compelling, and, and a good drama uh, comedy. They, they introduced some family comedy in there as well, so I really like that. Uh, for me, the big challenge, and, you know, as a pastor, as a man of faith, when it comes to faith-based movies, the, the challenge we face in those, right, of trying to make movies, you know, that, you know, gear towards people of faith or stories that will connect with people of faith. It, it's the exact same thing as kind of the argument of when people feel there's too much identity politics in movies or, um, you know, or, or when they race change a character or gender swap a character, things like that, right? When, when they create movies that's for a particular audience because that audience is going to really connect with it, we do the exact same thing in the faith-based community. We we make some movies that will really, really connect well with evangelical Christians, connect with people of faith, people who believe in Jesus, believe in his resurrection, uh, and, and believe in the power of the Holy Spirit and how he equips us to live Christian lives in this world, this fallen world we live in. So, so we do it too. <laughs> we make movies for our kind of category and we hope people will watch it well hollywood does the same thing they're making movies for this group of people and they hope people will watch it and so we get the tension of that now in the past these christian movies because of that because they're over here with a specific message slash agenda and they are trying to get these people to watch it to believe what they believe i think life mark did something really really smart with this movie um, where they had a difficult story to tell, especially in light of the political situation in the United States when it comes to pro-choice and adoption and abortion and things like that. Um, so the movie doesn't get into the political side of it or the preachy side of that tension. What they focused on was compassion. 
And even after the movie was over, they had a little bit of a segment, a segment with the film directors and a couple of uh, uh, people who work in advocacy groups for adoption. And, and, and the big message was not whether, you know, this is a pro-life or a pro-choice thing. They know their audience is Christians. They know their audience that's going to go see this is predominantly going to be churchgoers. And so the message they wanted to give there was you, church person, since you're the ones coming to this, here's our message to you. To show compassion. To show compassion to people who are choosing adoption. To show compassion to people who have maybe gone through an abortion. To show compassion for people who've made choices, right? Because we're, we're all hurting, we're all broken, and we all make choices with the data that we have at the time, right? And so this call to compassion was beautiful. And and and, and I I sat in my chair and I was ugly crying for the whole last 40 minutes of the movie. It was really connecting with my heart. But again, what connected with me the most was that call to we're not making this movie to be preachy to these people over here. Just like people making these stuff over here and being preachy at us over there, right? It's like that wasn't the goal. This goal was, we know this is our, our audience. We're going to speak to our audience. And we're going to encourage you to show love and compassion and care to everyone on that spectrum. Here, left, right, center, doesn't matter. So just for that reason alone as a faith-based film i've got to give this a super high score like like a 9.5 out of 10 just for nailing that uh, but again if i was evaluating that just on the merit of the movie quality itself it's again probably one of the better faith-based movies that have come out in a while um so probably a 7.5 out of 10 is what i would give this movie again decent acting good story good acting a little bit of Christian cheese to be expected, but uh, all in all, a very fun evening out as a family. So that's just kind of my take today after getting out to the movie theaters and seeing a Christian movie in the theaters last night. And if you did see A Life Mark by the Kendrick Brothers starring Kirk Cameron, I'd love to get uh, your uh, thoughts of it down in the comment section below. Do you like these movies? Do you avoid these movies like The Plague? would love to hear from you. Until the next video, well, God bless you. And we'll talk to you again real soon. Take care, everyone.